These were downright dangerous wedding photo shoots. Those are the looks of sheer horror that spread across the face of this bridal party. In 2016, wedding photographer Leslie Hollingsworth was nearly hit by a car in front of an Alabama church. It happened as the bride and groom assembled with their 28-person bridal party. The photographer stepped back to fit everyone in the frame. The bride's dad came to her rescue, pushing her out of the way. She didn't realize that she snapped this image until the pics arrived two weeks later. In 2016, drama erupted at an outdoor wedding photo session when a rattlesnake sank its fangs into the groom's leg. The newlyweds spent a chunk of their big day in the emergency room. Laura and Johnny were having their wedding pictures taken in Colorado. To get the perfect background, they strolled hand in hand down this trail. Then the rattler struck. The snake jumped out and bit Johnny right on the ankle. There were two little tiny puncture marks um, right on his ankle. That just like little tiny ne needle sized marks. The groom was placed on a gurney and rushed to the hospital. Doctors say the injury was a dry bite and the snake didn't actually release any poison. But just in case, Johnny was given a tetanus shot. Then the couple joined their guest at the delayed wedding reception. It was the loudest, most joyous, most emotional grand entrance I have ever, ever seen. In 2020, this bride and groom were posing for wedding photos. You can see the photographer giving them directions as they posed on the rocks in Laguna Beach, California. They were oblivious to the danger coming their way. Oh my God. The couple was swept into the ocean. Oh my God. They fall in the water. The conditions were dangerous. When they got swept off, our lifeguard was able to respond in a very rapid fashion. And uh, you've seen the video, of course, make contact with both of them and, and rescue them. The bride was so exhausted, she had to be carried out of the ocean. Hopefully, their wedding day was a bit smoother. In 2016, a bride and groom put their vows to the test on a ledge hundreds of feet off the ground. Good luck, hon. I'll see you on the other side. The photo shoot happened over the edge in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Where do you get up before sunrise, hang on a rope 450 feet in the air, go over the edge to this spectacular ledge and pose and get some pictures. Once I started doing weddings, I had always had the thought of like, how cool it would be to get somebody out on that ledge. We wanted to have a story behind our photographs around our wedding. So we wanted to have not just your traditional wedding photos. That's right side up there. In 2018, for their first wedding anniversary, Manda Alexander's husband had a big surprise. Biting my nails, worried that she wouldn't like it. He had also kind of warned me. I've been planning this for a year. So I was kind of worried. I'm like, what am I going to get? Oh my. Mandy couldn't believe what she saw. I was just shocked. It's a scary clown of photo bombing them while they pose for photos on their wedding day. I had absolutely no clue. Oh! Vincent got his brother to dress up as the terrifying clown, complete with a knife. They kept it a secret for an entire year. Oh my god, that's hilarious! For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.